Today's little farm story is about eggs coming home to roost. Doesn't that sound funny? Stay tuned to find out what I mean. Hello and welcome to Little Farm Stories at Under the Feather Farm. It's April 9th and I'm Lisa Murata. Eggs coming home to roost. They talk about chickens coming home to roost. Well, for me, it's eggs. I sold off all of my chickens last July because I needed a break. It was a lot of work and I decided life would be better without them. I have definitely enjoyed this chicken-free vacation. These amazing eggs are black copper morans and olive eggers from my friend Mary. It has been wonderful not worrying about everything I had to consider when I had chickens. Predators, not having enough eggs, having too many eggs, disease, etc. I do miss having them though, and figure having just one flock instead of nine separate ones will make it much easier. These beautiful black copper moran eggs, olive eggs, and Americana eggs are all from my friend Judy. One breed that I loved was the black copper morans. They are prized for their dark reddish brown eggs, and the darker the better. I had developed a flock that lay some of the darkest in Canada. One person told me that they were as dark as the ones in France, where the breed originated. I was amazed and very pleased to hear that. It's spring. Here's a salmonberry flower for proof. I did sell a lot of black copper moran chicks locally, and many went to friends who raised them up and kept their own flocks of morans. I am so fortunate they were willing to give me eggs to start my flock again. I'm excited to have these beauties back. These are salmonberry flower buds. More signs of spring. Thanks for watching, and a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed and liked my videos. I love knowing other people are enjoying them and watching them. Tomorrow, I'm talking about Gotland sheep again and might be getting a travelling companion for Daisy. Come back to find out. <laughs>